that one. <laughs> so. So. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's the best thing I need. It's my first time doing this, so I have to. Okay. Okay, so. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been here in a very long time because I took um, a long time off because I've been having kind of like a midlife crisis lately. Um, basically, a lot has changed. This is Jamie. Hi. Um, my boyfriend, James, um, is gender fluid. What? What? What does that mean? I believe it means you are both male like and female you present yourself as, I believe. Yeah. Could be wrong. But. In this video, we're going to share with you guys um, kind of like his life story of when he first realized this, how I reacted when he first told me, and where we are now, and kind of like a little bit in, in between. So if that is interested, interesting to you. <laughs> I'm also very tired because I worked a long day than I did. Yeah, it's like midnight. This one's makeup and I'm tired and cranky. And anyways, I thought it was very important for us to share this video because I know that there's a lot of people out there who, you know, share the same interests and um, feelings and yeah. And you know, it's important. Why don't we start with you telling us when you first realized that you liked female stuff? Yeah. I don't know, like when I was in like grade four. Yeah. And I just used to notice like all girls' nail polish and stuff like that, and I liked it, and I've seen it at home, and I went home and tried it, and I don't know, that's sort of how I started. Yeah. So it started with nail polish. Yeah, in like grade four. It always starts with nail polish. So when you first um, started, Obviously, you were shy about it. You didn't want people to know. Yeah, nobody knew about it until like a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when did you first start telling people? When my friends all found out on social media, on Instagram, that's sort of when I told them because <laughs> they really have a choice. And so he made an Instagram account and um, it emailed all of the Well, his it didn't contacts. email it, but like it put in suggestions, right? And then they'd collect it and. Oh, it just suggested. Yeah, everything. it was in suggestions, right? So then, oh. people, like somebody clicked it and then showed a few other people, and then yeah, I went for her. Spread like wildfire. Yeah. Excuse our gum chewing as well. Just excuse everything. We're being as real as possible. We want you guys to get to know us as real people, not like fake bimbos. Anyways, and then once everybody found out what happened, well, I owned up for it because you have to. Sort of yeah. the pictures right there, like tell me that's not you. Yeah. It's like that's your bedroom, that's your, <laughs> you know. So like, and how were you feeling in that moment? Really awkward and worried, and what were you worried for? Not having friends anymore and stuff, because my friends aren't that kind of people. They don't, they wouldn't really accept that, or so I thought. Yeah, but then what happened? Well, because of me, they. Because it was me, they got over it. They just don't want to see it, don't want to hear about it. But they know what happens. So then, once everybody kind of knew, and um, you would dress up here and there. Yeah. You would get your friends to do your makeup and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the girls I hung out with, yeah. Yeah. It was fun. And it was fun, but you still kind of felt like weird about it, and you still kind of felt like alone, and... Yeah, because you're just starting to do stuff, so it's awkward at first. And Yeah, and like people just don't understand really, and I feel yeah. like it's something that like a lot of people don't understand, and I personally didn't, didn't understand, understand either. And I still, like, I mean, I, it's not I that still I, don't understand, so yeah. we're all learning. We're all, like, as human learning beings, as we're all different, and I feel like it's so unfair to judge us on like two different genders, um, when obviously, that's not what it is. When James first came to me and told me, I was freaked out. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I yeah. definitely freaked out. You told me when? At the beginning of our relationship. Yeah, a little into it because I didn't want to wait on you to the first date. Like, oh, here, by the way, I like to do this. Yeah. It's not really a good date conversation. No. But I had to tell you eventually because you're going to find out or I'm just going to like what try and hide it or suppress it or something which is not going to help anybody yeah so it'll take you some time but in my mind i literally that was the hardest part 
and I told you, I remember telling you, I was like, I just want to be a normal girl in love with a normal boy. <laughs> and then like one day I woke up and I was like, listen, bitch, you're not normal. You're never going to be normal. You never were normal. normal. And that's just not I your life. You're normal. So, I mean, normal. Is the word normal, though, yeah. really. It took me a while. It did. And... I feel like for the first year of our relationship, it's not just that, it was a bunch of other things. I was very kind of stuck up in, in my own way and I didn't want to um, change, really. And then one day I just realized, I was like, why do I expect him to love me for who I am wholly if I'm not gonna love him for who she is, right? Yeah, it depends on the date. Yeah. So, a little bit by little bit, We've been doing makeup and we've been taking pictures and yeah, we've been building, you know, our relationship in that way. And it was difficult. I'm not going to lie. It was awkward. The thing that was hardest for me is being a transgender woman um, on social media. It's very hard because you get a lot of messages from a lot of creepy people that fetishize, fetishize, fetishize make you a fetish yeah or fantasy or something like that which you're a human being yeah so it's definitely um it was definitely like a tainted kind of um scenario for me and like not even just that but people in the media they they make it something it's not and I mean we all know this it was really hard for me and I remember thinking like I couldn't break up with you because just the connection that we had was so strong and I loved you so much and like there was nothing that could like take that away oh. um, and I remember when I told you you know like I, I remember when I told you no like yeah I don't want that I just kept thinking, like, remember when you wanted to, you know, do girl things and remember when I wanted to, you know, do all that kind of stuff and I was just like, I just want you to be happy, you know, like, I want you to do what you want to do and, like, my, I mean, my biggest fear was that, um, you wanted to fully transition and my fear was that I wasn't going to be attracted to you and that we would end up breaking up because I need a masculine entity in my life. Um, which which is, I am. Which you are. Quite a bit. And that's another reason why it's so shocking to everybody because it's yeah. like, he's such a masculine... I mean, he's man, kind of. Like, he kind of puts on that forefront. Um, so it was, it was shocking, for sure. But and then I started thinking, I was like, he wants to play with makeup. You love makeup. He likes to go to the nail salon. You like going to the nail salon. Yeah. Well, we brought he it down. He literally now. does my nails for me. And like, my own. Yeah. My toes, everything. Once I stopped thinking about, you know, what other people would think and um, how, you know, scary it would be to kind of go through coming out all over again because, you know, I've done it twice now and here's number three. <laughs> Um, and it was definitely a long road. Um, and the reason I feel so, um, powered, so feel like it's so important to share is because I feel like people need to know out there that, like, you don't need to fetishize something that you don't understand and you don't need to shy away from something or be afraid of something. Um, and even like girls out there who are in relationship with guys that want to dress up dress or up. play with makeup or yeah. clothes it's okay. or whatever. It's yeah. okay. Like it's fine. It's actually more fun because then you have something else in common. Yeah. And you know, like us, it'll be a little bit weird at first and it takes some time and you know, just like everything else in, in life. But now but everything's yeah. working well. Yeah. And now we're getting to make videos together and we can take pictures and yeah. Yeah. So there are probably lots of people that are sort of in the same predicament, just they're embarrassed or because a lot of people are into it, but they don't 
show that on their own personal accounts. They show it on little random ones. Well, their girlfriend's sitting over there. It's nice you finally accepted it. Yeah. And it's fun. Like, it's it's fun, and it's not weird like I thought it was going to be. And honestly, like, the first time I actually did his makeup, like, fully... It looked really good. I remember, like... And we could post a picture of it. Just seeing how happy mm -hmm. he was. And I remember just, like... Just being like, oh my god, like... I made him happy. I made him just as happy as he makes me, you know? I don't know. This is just... A video to be like, hey, hey you, you want to play with makeup? Play with fucking makeup. Hey you, your boyfriend wants to play with makeup? Let him play with makeup. Do it for him. Why not? It's fun. Show him. He'll do it himself probably. Yeah. You just gotta learn. Yeah, you gotta learn. I sort of know. Yeah. Just not as good as you. I mean. Mm -hmm. This is just a quick video um, just to address the situation um, and just to put, you know, to put our story out there. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything, um, this new chapter is all about honesty and vulnerability. Be vulnerability. vulnerability. I'm so tired, oh my god. Yeah, that's like. But we do wanna do like some Q and A's and everything, so if you wanna see more, ask those questions in the comments below. <coughs> Why is it? I don't know, it's my first like real video like this, so. If there's any videos you guys want us to do, um, let looks, us know. Or... Yeah, any looks you want us to recreate, let us know. Honestly, the world is our oyster at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit more into our lives um, and hearing about, you know, some some new stuff going on in ours. Yeah. Anywho, that's all. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.